Ladies and gentlemen, put your dancing boots on. It's time for Billy Bowles Swinging Country on KSSL, a truly authentic country music radio program, bringing you the official music of Texas Western Swing and the very best in real traditional country music, Western and country gospel by today's independent artists with lots of fiddles and steel because, dang, we love the twang. And, of course, now and then a good touch of the classics. Billy Bowles, winner of the Covenant Academy of Western Artists Will Rogers Award for Disc Jockey of the Year 2012, inducted into the prestigious Cowtown Society of Western Music Heroes Hall of Fame and Disc Jockey of the Year 2013, inducted into the Elite Northwest Western Swing Music Society Hall of Fame in 2014, inducted into the Texas Western Swing Hall of Fame 2015. And now, here's Billy Bowles coming to you from 107.3, 94.1, and streaming around the world at kssl.fm.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for me to do my first world radio premiere off of this brand new album from Jenny Rumor. And the album, I believe, is called Weekend Again. And you're going to love this, folks. We're going to hear one from her now. And when we come back, we're going to interview with her and play you, oh, about four more of these songs before it's all said and done. So here right now, World Radio premiering, first time on radio, Old Time Country Show. Your Stetsons, put on your cowboy boots. We're playing Western Swing tonight. We're going back to our rooms. We're gonna do some Bob Wills music, a little Hank and Lefty too. Before the night is over, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to push back the table. We're gonna two step around the floor. A little hip to toe, a little do si do. Then we'll do it some more. Come on in. Grab a partner, we'll have a good time before we go And we'll do it all tonight down at the old time country show I'll listen to the fiddlers sawing, listen to the banjos ring See the steel guitar sliding Hear the good old singer sing Now swing it, swing it, swing it Throw down some new soft dust Get out on that old dance floor And leave the rest of us We're gonna to push back the table We're gonna two step around the floor A little hula to a little do si do Then we'll do it some more Come on in, grab a partner We'll have a good time before we go And we'll do it all tonight your time country show Ladies and gentlemen, again, just heard a world radio premiere from Jenny Rumor, Old Time Country Show. And guess what, folks? My special guest this week and Spotlight Featured Artist is Jenny Rumor. Good morning, Jenny, and welcome to Swingin' Country. Good morning to you. And thank you so much for having me. How you doing today? Well, I'm I'm tired, but I guess that's because I'm getting old. I don't know. No, you're not getting old. 
Don't talk like that. <laughs> I'm think I'm turning into that cranky old man that always hated growing up. I find myself being more that way all the time. Oh, it's just you're keeping busy. That's a good thing. Yes, ma'am. And thank goodness we're a little busier than we were, say, 2020. That was a great song, and and since this is our first conversation, I mean, literally, folks, today is the first day Jenny and I have ever spoken, and Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to learn about you and your music. I first heard about you from a friend of mine, Mr. Bobby Flores, who is the owner of RD Music Productions and BAM Recording Studio and Yellow Rose Records and a whole lot more, and a tremendous singer songwriter musician himself and he said i want you to hear this gal and let me know what you think and so uh we we agreed that uh, you'd be a great world radio album premiere today so anyway i'm gonna shut up and let you tell us about yourself oh uh, don't get too quiet on me <laughs> <laughs> now bobby is great i you know i'm originally from cincinnati ohio but all my life i've known that i wanted to come to texas they always say I wasn't born here, but I got here as quick as I could. <laughs> Correct. I love Texas. The people are amazing. And I'm really thankful to you, Billy, for doing the show that you're doing and keeping country alive. Well, you're more than welcome. So how long have you been singing and how did this all begin for you? Well, I have been singing all my life. Music has just been the main part of my life. I started back when I was five years old. My mom and dad took me to my first live concert when I was young, and I never turned back from then. I just always had it in my soul. And being around my mom's family is from Kentucky, and my dad, you know, where I was born and raised is in Cincinnati, and they always referred to me as a little river rat. That's what they call us down there, because we're right along the river. (laughs) And music just rang through to everybody there. I've also was fortunate enough. I traveled for a while. I did bluegrass. People know me out there as Jenny Lynn, those who followed me. But now I just decided I was going to use my last name and my first name and get back into country. And I'm really fortunate that Bobby, working with Bobby, he allowed me to be able to release this album of nothing but originals. So I'm really, really proud of this project that I've done with him, and it's amazing. I am thrilled to have this all-original project up. I'll interject something right there, and I'm glad you brought that point up, is that my show specifically, because I concentrate primarily on today's independent artists, Now, what I'm about to say, I hope no one misunderstands what I'm saying. I have nothing against covers, and you certainly want to keep the legends alive, because my original statement is, good music never has an expiration date, and that's regardless of the genre. So the fact that, uh, for a perfect example, that people are still to this very minute re-recording Hank Williams Sr. songs 70-some-odd years later after he's he's gone and in all genres that speaks volumes for the longevity of the music the songwriter so there's nothing wrong with covers but i do (coughs) lean heavily toward new original material because it's that new original material that keeps the music perpetuating and growing wouldn't you agree right i agree wholeheartedly but you have to remember a lot of people say you know they're cover songs and you have to go back and grab these but you have to remember those cover songs were once an original song for mm-hmm. somebody absolutely so that original song that that has now become a cover song people like me have grown up on and that's what we strive to be now with our own music so we all had to start somewhere so then cover songs are a good place to start you know and uh i'm gonna ask your maybe you'll have a thought that the rest of us hadn't thought of i don't know but it just (laughs) ran across my mind while you were saying that that uh unfortunately too many people believe that country music died that it died with George Jones or Mel Tillis or Merle Haggard or whoever. No, it certainly did not. Because when they turn on their local radio, they're hearing mainstream. And uh, mainstream, I totally agree with them. It is not country. It's not even a tenth distant cousin to country music. It's, well, as Bobby Mackey's song says, what they call country is not country. They just stole the name. Period. So the fact that people 
are like yourself and so many others. The hundreds of y'all are out there producing great music. I am on a mission to educate more and more and more people that no, it never left. Mainstream left it, but it never left and it's still here and we're coming back. Exactly. I am so glad to hear you say that because, you know, artists like myself who have truly just grown up listening to George Jones and Tammy Wynette and Merle Haggard and all them. They loved that deep music that speaks to the soul. And the 90s were good about bringing that out as well. I mean, storytelling songs that everybody can relate to that can lift you up or just make you want to cry in your beer or something. They're all still out there. And one place that's doing it well is Texas. Yes. Texas is alive and well, people. They say the, it's bigger and better in Texas. Well, it is true. <laughs> so true. And I thank the good Lord for people like you, Billy, who allow artists like myself to be able to get out there and still stream our music. Well, and have a place to go and allow people to hear it so we can continue that generation on and on and on. I'm so glad that you finally found your way to Texas. Me too. And it has been wonderful. And I don't believe I will ever stray from it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, uh, let's uh, let's play a couple more of these tunes off of here. And I'm, I've right. chosen a couple called, one is called Used to Being Used. Uh Uh-oh, and did you love me at all? Let's hear those. Don't hang up. We're not finished yet. We're going to visit some more. All right. If you think I don't know what's going on, you're wrong. It's hard to face the truth when you've lived a life so long. You take me for granted. Know that it's true Well, how can I blame you For something I let you do I'm getting used to being used by you And you don't seem to care About the things you put me through For the strain to start my afternoon, I'm afraid I'm getting used to being used by you. I'll pack up and move on But my heart, it won't let go Of the love it holds so strong But still you keep on taking All I have to give While I try to find a meaning In this life that we live About the things you put me through And searching for the strength To start my life anew I'm afraid I'm getting used To being used by you And searching for the strength To start my I'm afraid I've gotten used to being used by you. If 
You wrote a couple, of, <laughs> a couple of them old uh, real to life kind of stories there. Now, was that based on uh, personal experiences or observations? A lot of the stories that I tell are all true stories, but you know, I won't tell if it's happened to me or what. But now there might be some stories to come that could be about myself. But mm-hmm. um, yes, these last two are just stories that I've witnessed and. It's a shame, but Used to Being Used was one of my very popular songs whenever I get to go out and sing. A lot of people wanted me to record that song. And I'm like, well, shoot, you know, I hate that anybody can relate to that song, Used to Being Used. Nobody wants to do that. But um, it seems to be a dearly loved one. And Did You Love Me At All? That's sad, too. Yeah. And we played two sad ones back to back. (laughs) Well, I like to kind of pair things up that kind of fit together. That's uh. Oh, absolutely. The more you listen to my show, you the more you'll pick up on some of my little quirks like that. <laughs> in fact, I've even created some that you can start with one song and put them in a certain order. And if you're really paying attention at the end of it, you've gotten an entire story. Yeah. Man, it's all not all depressing. I do have some lifted up tunes on there as well. Well, let's just be honest. Sometimes we need uh, sad music. Sometimes we need happy music. Sometimes we need just good old shuffles or good old western swing, just good dance tunes, you know. But music yeah. does move you. When I do my Mother's Every Day. I still have a job. 
Exactly. I do like when I do my Mother's Day show each year, I, I guarantee the audience they're going to get an emotional roller coaster ride. They'll be laughing. They'll be crying. They'll be reminiscing. They'll be thinking not only of their mothers, but maybe grandmothers or friends, mothers, etc. I'm going to put them on an emotional roller coaster ride. And that's not me. That's the music. That's what it's supposed to do. Amen. So I did visit with your husband here a day or two back and he informed me that you also got a real passion for Western swing music. Yes, I'm telling you what, I love it. Miss Reva McIntyre, I grew up listening to her, and I probably had every album she ever put out. My parents had taken the only next concert I'd ever been to, a live concert, was Miss Reba. She is amazing, and I learned a lot of swing off of her, and through her, I was able to learn a lot about Bob Wells, too. Mm-hmm. And I just, I just think it's so much fun. Like you said, it's the uplifting, fun, swinging kind of music that we all like to get to. Grab a partner and do see do. My <laughs> old time country show. <laughs> <laughs> that music was born, and what happened was, and, and we're kind of off subject, but a little bit, but yet we're not. Back in the very late twenties, very early thirties, Bob Wills and Milton Brown met one another, and Milton Brown was kind of a big city jazz, big band type of performer, and Bob mm-hmm. Wills was a frontier fiddle player, basically, and they kind of merged together, and they did not realize what they were doing, but they were creating a brand new sound and a brand new melting pot, and when it kind of fused itself together, so to speak, they ended up with a name called Western Swing, and it came along at a time when the people truly needed it, which was the Great Depression. Right. People had very little to look forward to. They had very little to smile about. But they gave them something to look forward to, and they took all their misery away for a four-hour dance, you know, that everybody's smiling, laughing, dancing, having a great time. And that's therapeutic, my friend. Yes, it is, and that's the reason why I love to do it. And hopefully when I'm out, and singing and doing shows, people can just leave their worries behind and just come on in and have a good time while they're listening to us. So tell me, Jenny, what are your dates? I mean, do you have any bookings going on currently, or, or what have we got to look forward to? What can you tell us about? Um, they're, they're coming up. There's a lot of things in the work. I'm meeting with uh, Bobby tomorrow. We're sitting down, and we're discussing where we're going to go and how we're going to get there and showcases and agents and all that good stuff. Great. Well, you're with a fine uh, fella that knows his business there, so... Absolutely, and a great Western swing artist as well. Uh, yes, I've noticed that. <laughs> I've I've had yeah. the I've had the fortune, the good fortune, to actually MC for Bobby on numerous occasions, and one great band, I can assure you, and a, and a great fella. I mean, he's just uh, yes, he as nice a fella as you would ever want to meet in your life. Yeah, and you were asking about my shows recently but i have i have been very fortunate enough to be able to travel nationally and um during traveling nationally i was able to become nominated for entertainer of the year in um, bluegrass and i was also nominated over in europe for a grammy alongside allison krauss and Rhonda vincent well outstanding outstanding that's a pretty tall cotton as they'd say <laughs> well, you know, you can rub shoulders with a lot of people, but I'm still just, you know, someone who's trying to fight and scrape my way and try to just get my music out there and get heard. And hopefully, you know, maybe this will be my time to come up and shine for a little bit and Absolutely. help other people out. <laughs> That's the key thing right there, you know, is help other people as well. And and as long as we do that and don't turn it into, you know, one problem I see too often is egos and jealousies. I'm not in competition with any other radio show or disc jockey or anything. I work with them as best I can, as long as they work with me. And there's a bunch of us that do. It's called networking. And if I need something I hear on somebody else's show, well, they get it to me. If they hear something on my show they need, they holler at me. We we network like that and uh, help each other out. That's the way it should be. That's what artists need to start doing. We all need to start coming 
together and right. lifting each other up rather yep. than being, oh, don't listen to them, listen to us, come here. Come. No, share the wealth. There's a lot out there. There's a lot of people out there who mm-hmm. need to hear what I have to say, who need to hear what you have to say. Amen. It's a wonderful thing. You can get out there through music and networking. Well, very impressive conversation. I'm really enjoying our conversation because I think we're on the same page as to how we think. I hope so. I'm, I have one thing I forgot. I'd really like to mention my hometown heroes. There was an award back in Portsmouth, Ohio, where I lived and grew up around, and the Judds and Ricky Skaggs and even ball players and photographers and all kinds of people were up for this hometown hero award. Mm-hmm. And I was fortunate enough, yeah, Keith Whitley was even involved in it, and I was fortunate enough to win that award, and I am so thankful for them to have given me that award and being able to um, help people in my community through that, through music, and I just wanted to give a shout out to them. Well, outstanding. (laughs) Thanks for sharing that, and Mm -hmm. I look forward to visiting your home area there in March. And I understand also that your music's about to be released probably today after this show. When they know I've got a world radio album premiere, they don't release it until Swinging Country is over. And then the good news is it goes out to over 500 disc jockeys throughout the world. And our type of music is actually more popular overseas than it is right here at home. Well, I've heard that, but I hope they grab me up and take me over. I'll come over and visit them all and give them a big hi. <laughs> Howdy! <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, i tell you what, I have thoroughly enjoyed this visit. Is there anything else you would like to say before I announce the, the two songs that we're going to play from this album coming out of this? Well, I just want to say thank you so very much for featuring me as one of your artists for this worldwide release. I am so truly grateful. I really, really am grateful for this opportunity. And I truly hope that everybody will grab this album. Where can they get the album? Um, Right now, they can go to JennyRumor.com. And and spell that out for them. Yes, it's J-E-N-N-I-R-U-M-E-R.com. And they can purchase a hard case album and have it shipped right on out to them. And then soon to follow is all the media on Spotify and iTunes and everywhere that it's available, it will be put up. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's two more teams, and I'll have you tell me real quickly about them that I'm going to play off this album this morning. The first one is called If I Ain't There, and the second one is I Wish You Would. Please tell us quickly about those two. If I Ain't There is a rural fun, sassy tune that a girl is just putting a little man in his place that he just needs to know a thing or two and they're going through a breakup so if i ain't there you can't hurt me anymore and then i wish he would <laughs> it's a complete opposite where a woman is earning over a fella who got away from her and she <laughs> really just wishes everything within her that he would come back all right well ladies and gentlemen here they are now and do me a big big favor there jenny okay keep swinging country absolutely You stole my heart Then you broke it in two When we were together I was nothing but blue I'm tired of your lying And your cheating ways I can't take no more Of these hurting days So I'm leaving here On the next last train feel bad cause you don't care you can't hurt me no more if I ain't there
you took everything that you could from me. You ruined my pride and my dignity. You're like a big old fag moving hurricane. You're breaking every heart that comes your way. Missing you 